whenever we purchase an equipment, along with the equipment, we get an instruction manual. For example, when we purchase a DVD player, we get an instruction manual, which tells us how the DVD player should be operated. If you want to play the DVD, put the disc and press the play button. If you want to skip, press the skip button. If you want to stop, press the stop button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get damaged. Don't immerse it in water, it will get spoiled. All these details are given in the instruction manual. Whenever you buy an equipment, it has an instruction manual. And more complicated the machine, the more requirement of the instruction manual. If you allow me to call the human being the machine, I would say it is the most complicated machine on the face of this earth. Don't you think it requires an instruction manual? The instruction manual for the human beings, it is the glorious Quran. The glorious Quran is the last and final instruction manual for the human being. How a human being should lead his or her life is given in the Quran. Imagine if you buy an equipment and if it is in the language you don't understand. And we know today Japan is very advanced. Most of the electronic equipment, they come from Japan. But when we get the instruction manual, we get it in the language we understand. There may be a Japanese instruction manual, but along with it is the English translation. If you buy in India, you also get the Hindi translation. So when you want to understand the equipment, whether it's a DVD player, whether it's a washing machine, you read the instruction manual in the language you understand. Don't you want to read the instruction manual of the human being? What has our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what has he mentioned in the last and final instruction manual of the human being, the glorious Quran? We don't have to get it translated, it's already available.